Hi, welcome to SAP MM training class. Today we will see country version India, SIN. Under this, under this we are going to see overview of excise duty, configuration of tax and sales and purchases. Under this we are going to see basic settings, calculations, posting, in this lot of settings are there, I am going to explain you later. And also, country specific taxes on tax and goods movements. This configuration contains basic settings, master data, account determination, business transaction settings and tools. But before going to uh, learn about the settings in this, we are going to learn about our taxation system, Indian taxation system. The taxes in India are levied by central government and state governments. Some minor taxes are also levied by the local authorities such as municipalities. The authority to levy a tax is derived from the Constitution of India which allocates the power to levy various taxes between the central and the state. Restriction on this power is Article uh, 265 of the Constitution which states that no tax shall be levied or collected except by the authority of law. Therefore, each tax levied or collected has to be backed by an accompanying law passed either by the parliament or the state legislature. Now, there are 25 types of taxes and are uh, levied uh, by state and central governments nearly even more than that one, but they are classified according to the direct taxation or indi indirect taxation. We know very well what is direct taxation. Income tax, property tax, such kinds of taxes imposed on the individuals of the uh, Indian citizens is direct taxation system. Whereas indirectly collecting means on the products the consumers are they going to pay ultimately the taxes so whoever is going to consume those products they are the taxpayers in this category service tax excise duty and custom duty and central sales tax VAT and LST will be there the excise duty is called as central VAT, that's why shortly we will call it as SIN VAT and custom duties, difference between these two, one is inland tax, another one is country border tax, but these two also levied by the central government only, whereas VAT and local cell tax is going to levied by the state government. CST generally state border taxes and uh, on each of the product the consumer is going to pay central government tax as well as state government tax. current uh, taxation system 
is more uh, complex and uh, multiplicity of taxation nature and cascading effect of uh, taxes as uh, I have discussed uh, uh, earlier. You can see here in this flow chart there is a central government as many number of uh, tax, uh, taxes uh, levied on the uh, manufacturing goods and state government imposed these duties. If you have seen in the uh, our uh, tax conditions in SAP like BED is there on that one again there will be AED taxes will be imposed on BED means additional taxes there is some special taxes and education says education says and higher education says these are going to be collected on the um, on the BED basis so like that there is a lot of multiplicity of taxes and complex nature and there, there is a chance of lot of cost cascading effects tax and taxes uh, double taxation also can happen so proposed regime of uh, indirect tax in India is GST it is a system of indirect taxation in India merging most of the existing uh, taxes into a single taxation GST would be a comprehensive indirect tax on manufacture sales and consumption of the goods and services throughout India to replace taxes levied by the central and state governments goods and services tax would be levied and collected at each stage of sale or purchase of goods or services based on the input tax credit, credit